right. Um, first, let me warn you. Um, I kind of been the victim of a PVP for 23 years, so I might come off sometimes only like luncheon. It is not deliberate. It's by accident. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what I want to say is rhetoric. Guyana is a land of full of opportunities for everybody. There is a big bush out there that we can go and tame. There are rivers that we can ford and have our hydroelectric power. But no, some people would have it that only a certain section of the population is able to benefit from these things. We have a nation full of possibilities. But you know what? Go on Google. Google Guyana. Corruption in the Caribbean. Guyana on top. Nepotism in the Caribbean. Guyana on top. Graft. Bribery in Guyana. Guyana is on top in the Caribbean. What is going on, Clement Roy? But he will come out here and speak and talk about divisiveness. I want the PUP is the only alternative. We here at AP, we speak not of alternatives. We speak of one thing, unity. We speak that everybody, even the good ones in the PUP, can come on board. If you, if you desire us of working to build a nation, then build a nation we shall. I am not here, comrades, to come and pontificate and speak about a history lesson, comrades. I cannot do it. All I know about this 23 years. In this 23 years, I see the possibilities for geologists to refine our boxes and our diamond. I see the possibility for zoologists Zoologists, but botanists, because we have trees, animals. But this cannot be done if the University of Guyana is kept at the state it is. Ladies and gentlemen, let's speak about UG, but just for, for just a short bit. At the University of Guyana, Guyana's premier tertiary institution, because we care, decided that you know what? It is okay to let the strike continue for protracted periods. We shall not get involved. Because we care, it is okay that our lecturers can be paid some ridiculous salaries. I am now hearing, yes, because we care, that Comrade President, Mr. President, Mr. Ramadan, has decided that it's unlikely that he will attend a debate by the University of Guyana Student Society because he had some bad taste in his mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a student and I've experienced PP development. Poor washroom, poor classrooms, poor laboratory system. That is the PP I know about for 23 years. They got no water flow to tell up to now in 2015. But I tell you what, pre-1992, comrades. Comrades, I cannot understand how it is the president can deny the youth, the young people at UG, an audience. But then again, I guess it's because we care. It is unfortunate that we the students have to suffer. A bridge has a board missing, and that board can be repaired up to now. Let progress continue, Let progress continue because we care. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as I stand here before you, it is saddening. It is extremely, deeply saddening. And as a student, you have to sit on the floor because of inadequate furniture. You got to, at night, the place is poorly lighted, and the president has the, eff, has the effrontery. Please get it correctly, effrontery. Yeah. So they, they get it correctly. They can improve their argument instead of talking about 1992. Yeah. That the president has the effrontery to speak about having a bad taste. We live in this country, and we can't afford $2.1 million in a month. I can't afford it. It's ridiculous. We care about our youth so much 
that we're not going to meet them on their territory, in their turf. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't wish to be long. I will not be protracted. But the AP and new AFC government have already committed itself, firstly, for across the board, 10 and 30% salary increases, which includes our university lecturers. We are coming with plans. The AP and new AFC government has decided that we shall use our projection of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics because we need to afford those reforms. We need to utilize our natural resources to the benefit of a nation. We are one nation. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, as I close, I have just a little thing to say. Come May 11, not a buy, stay home. Not a buy, see granny, I left you home. Not a buy, wake up later on May 11. Because on May 11, we respect our vote. We're going to exercise our vote. I am Courtney, pass the megaphone. They can come, but we shall retaliate with the panel. Ladies and gentlemen, May 11, vote, APNU, AFC, it is time!